pregnancy is a wonderful moment for many motherhood um, during pregnancy period uh, many mothers would have um, various forms of knowledges about antenatal uh, process so they would have gathered from their family their friends and and from internet itself um, so for painless delivery is a concept where pregnant mothers would want to have a delivery process without having um, basically pain-free process so under labor pain uh, there are two main modalities one is a pharmacological mode meaning that what medication can be consumed or taken to reduce the pain another one is non-pharmacological approach simply means that um, different various modalities that pregnant mothers can employ to reduce the pain without medication so under non-pharmacological uh, approach sub simply uh, device uh, devices like tents tent simply means to reduce the muscle pain or a simple support from a husband would reduce pain or anxiety uh, and there are many other ways like massages or, or bath, uh, water bath uh, and all these different modalities need to be discussed with your obstetrician or the service provider at that particular hospital to, to see suitability for your pain relief so there are few uh, um, options that's available under painless delivery uh, the mainstay would be uh, a labor epidural um, and and besides than that uh, a gas method called antanox and another mode would be simply intravenous medication uh, which is opioid based So during the procedure, you will be in a sitting position and after verifying that, that your baby is in good health, with the, uh, a monitoring device will be placed on your tummy area and your blood pressure recorded and after a, a simple IV cannulation done with a fluid drip uh, running through and every parameter is, is fit, you will be in sitting position and the back area will be clean with alcohol or povidone just to sterilize the area. It's important to sterilize the area to make sure there is no um, possible infection and to make sure things are being done under a term called aseptic procedure simply mean that it's a very clean uh, technique um, after it's been cleaned up then a drape will be applied and a small um, needle will be, uh, will be inserted to reduce to induce numbness of the skin area uh, after that then the catheter will be inserted and during the insertion of the catheter some mothers might experience a shooting like pain like electrical pain along the lower limb or bat batok area which is absolutely normal and it's transient it only lasts one or two seconds but whatever you have you just have to uh, inform uh, the anesthetist who's doing the procedure during the procedure you might have contraction pain and which is absolutely normal and 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 it's fine to have contraction pain and just exp express your pain and and the anesthetist will pause for a moment and wait for your com more comfortable time um, once it's being done uh, and the place is being plastered accordingly then uh, you'll be lying back position i mean you'll be back on your bed this baby monitoring will be placed back on you a bp monitoring will be placed on you and then certain test dose or medication will be given test dose is important because we want to see the nurses would want to see uh, whether it's working for you and and there's any any possible reaction to it uh, once it's given it is safe um, uh, everything is normal then um, proper dosage will be given to you and it's continuously be given uh, to observe for any um, uh, possible effects side effects uh, it normally epidural takes about easily the whole process takes about five to ten minutes to be done and the uh, additional observation will take about 15 to 20 minutes uh, in average the whole process will take from 15 to 20 minutes for the medication itself to work will take additional another 15 to 20 minutes um, normally it's advisable to build the block or the pain relief gradually to prevent any complications